All right, guys, we are back today with a new car update. This is my new to me 2004 Mazda 3. Uh, long story short behind this car, my friend Jake down in Richmond, Virginia, uh, otherwise known to you guys on YouTube here as uh, Jake Man, um, his roommate was getting a new vehicle and basically she got a new Mazda, I believe CX-5. And so anyhow, this had to go. I was offered it to, it was offered to me for about a grand. And so I figured why not? I'm currently going through some drama with my current daily driver, the MKZ. It, it's just been unfortunate. It's such a nice car, but it's just, everything keeps breaking on it. And I'll make a separate video on that at some point. But um, I've been kind of looking to replace that, um, you know, kind of a nicer replacement. But any this this popped up and I just really couldn't pass it up for a grand. I'm uh, probably about into it for $1,500 with travel costs and everything. But anyhow, I drove down and picked it up yesterday and brought it back last night. And um, here it is, guys. This is before I really touched it. We've actually done quite a bit of cleaning to it down, down in uh, Virginia before I brought it back. But uh, before I really do go at it here, it needs a good buff, a good you know headlight polish, it needs the wiper arms painted, and just little things. You now for a thousand dollar car, it's rust free. It's obviously seen better days. It's a city. It's been a, basically a city car its whole life, so the bumpers will reflect that, as you can see there. And I do have the hood popped, so that's why that gap is there. Um, but anyways, we took the plate bracket off first thing once I got it on the trailer yesterday because we have no front plates. So that looks a lot better with no front plate bracket. Uh, this is cool because it's an 04. It's got projector halogen headlights and obviously fogs down there. So for 04 economy car with projectors, that's pretty neat. Obviously, it's 50 shades of gray. It's been resprayed at some point on some panels. No, I think that fender was replaced. Again, I don't care. It's a cheap car. There's some turn signal indicators right there. This one does have the 2.3 liter Duratec from Ford. This is the same engine that they put in their Escape. Um, so in an application like this, it actually is quite peppy. It's not a race car by any means, but it is peppy for what it is. See, it does have the Zoom Zoom logo still on it back when that was a real big thing. And then this came from uh, Witten Brothers, uh, Richmond, Virginia Mazda. Uh, we do have a chrome exhaust tip down there. Again, for 04, it's quite a cool looking car. I, I always had a soft spot for these. I never considered owning one until now, but uh, they never really bothered me. Uh, so we'll get started here. We do have a locking gas cap right there. See the paint needs a good buff. Um, it's, it's on its way to sun faded, so I'm gonna try to save it, but I'm not gonna be too worried if I can't. Uh, wheels down here are 16 inch alloy wheels. Uh, these are riding on some pretty dry rotted mile stars. Uh, those are gonna get replaced. Uh, new brakes on the back, I believe, uh, but there is no rust on this, so that's a main reason I bought it. These are these have been rotted out for years in Michigan, so um, if I want to sell it, I'm not going to get hurt on it. Uh, so we'll see how long it'll it'll last for. I think it'll be a good little uh, work beater, though. So again, it needs a good buff. And the front tires are some Hercules. Uh, I believe they are on newer brakes as well, but these tires are uh, terrifying to drive on, so I'm going to get those done sooner than later. We do have a, a Virginia State Inspection sticker right there. Please excuse me, guys. I, it is it is in the single digits right now. I just want to get this video up before I start going at it. Uh, window regulator went out, I believe, back in the summer, and they duct taped it, so there's just a bunch of residue on it. So, uh, but anyways, jumping on over the interior. Again, checking it out, it does have the red cloth interior. It's seen better days, but it's, uh, you know, I think it'll be savable. So just with a good cleaning. So we'll step on in here. Down at the floor, we do have a trunk pop and a gas cap pop right there. Carpet's in terrible shape. Uh, the previous previous owner ran a subwoofer at some point and some wiring and just destroyed everything. Uh, I would be more irritated if it was more than a thousand dollars. It's just something I care less about. So I will start it up here. That two three starts right up. I need to have the headlights off but yeah looking down here there's a little bit of rust starting down there and i believe that is just from neglected of not being cleaned i think this thing was washed maybe once a year so um anyhow everything else is pretty solid though the door panels are in good shape it just needs a good cleaning like i said we have some gauge dimmers over there uh headlights fog lights of course and then this is cool you can hit this little button and your gauge is brighter so um we do have 120,000 miles on this one. Audio control.
here, cruise controls here, we have the horn. I believe one of the horns went out because that just, that cannot be a real horn, but um, leather wrapped wheel, it's seen better days, obviously. It's, the sun probably did a lot of that, uh, the southern sun. I mean, it, look what it did to those wiper arms right there. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad little car though for what it is. I believe Jake put this head unit in last year. It is Bluetooth and everything, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, we also got a satellite radio tuner that came with it as well, so that's pretty neat. I will put my uh, satellite radio down there. Uh, that's one thing it's hard to live without once you have it. So we also have all, a lot of the original documents for this thing, so that's pretty cool. The quick start guide and all that little fun stuff. So looking at the window sticker here, it's pretty base, but we do have a moonroof option and a... Uh, Cystix six disc CD changer back when you know discs were real big, but uh, it was again sold to uh, Witten Bros. So yeah, Southern car its whole life. So that's pretty cool. It's, again, it's a solid start. Damp glove box, which is quite surprising. It is really big. Uh, everything is pretty plasticky though, but it does fit together nice. Again, it's a 2004, so uh, considering the times when stuff wasn't built great. It looks good. So we have some tweeters up there, um, some speakers down there. It's a six speaker audio system. It sounds all right. Uh, we have a four speed auto. Um, again, pretty standard for the day. E-brake, it does work. Cup holders, a little lid right there. And then we have an ashtray. And uh, it is a non-smoker, fortunately. So single zone climate, of course. Nothing too special, but it's a comfortable car. We have a dead pedal, which is a big plus. Belt line is pretty high. Another thing I do I do like in a car. Uh, it's not a bad little car. Uh, we'll see how long we can hold on to it for. Again, we have the moonroof up here. I do have it tilted just for video purposes. Headliner is clean. Uh, no vanity lights or anything, but uh, it's a good start. So console right here. Change. And uh, yeah, so. We'll go pop the hood here real fast. And the trunk. I do have to use the key though to open the trunk. The paint is faded as I said, but uh, I think I can bring it back. And if I can't, then again, I, I don't really care. It, it sat under a tree for the last, I think three years or something. So I got a lot of debris blown out of this thing already. Uh, coming to the back again, it's a back seat, so good shape you have that subwoofer wiring again i may play with it down the road and the door panel right there i didn't get all the stickers off of it yet but i see it's been to uh north carolina at some point and uh just some parking passes and stuff up there and coming to the rear again you can see the original stickers back there which are pretty neat now the trunk Struts probably could go get replaced, but I'm not even gonna do that. So uh, when I got it yesterday, before we, before I really touched it, uh, it, it was just full of dirt in here. As you can see, I really missed a lot of it, but um, all the dirt is out of it. And uh, yeah, so it came with some. It came with a subwoofer that looks like it's custom molded to this thing. Uh, may try to set that up at one point. Uh, that needs replaced. It looks like a 12, so I'm sure the system sounds pretty good. Um, though it does have a Boss amplifier. I'm not even gonna trust that. I mean, looking at that wiring right there, that that's horrendous. So uh, I'll probably do my own wiring if I ever decide to hook it up. But yeah, it just, again, it needs a very thorough cleaning. And I, I got a lot of that in there when I was blowing it out at the car wash. So I haven't really gone through the whole thing yet. We have a trunk liner right there. And again, no rust. In Michigan, these things rotted out when they were four years old. So uh, to have one that's as clean as this, rust-wise, uh, it's not a bad little thing. We have a locking gas cap right there. And there's the passenger side. So there's some more wiring down there. So uh, I just had an oil change done on it today and I had some new uh, Rain-X wipers put on it. And uh, yeah, the headlights again, they could use a good polish, which we'll get that all taken care of. So looking at under the hood, this is the 2.3 liter uh, Duratec engine from Ford. I have the engine cover off, but I did blow it off at the car wash. Uh, yeah, it was just a little dusty, so it's pretty good and clean now. I'll probably do the plugs, maybe valve cover gasket, we'll see. And obviously the uh, hydraulic engine mount right there, that'll get done. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is a good start. I'm gonna get at it here though on the car. 
wanted to show it to you before I really transform this thing. So I think it'll turn out good. So guys, as usual, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you all later.